Hey there Dev Squad, Virtus here and welcome back to my Unreal Engine 4 Endless Runner tutorial series. In today's video we're going to be introducing you to a, qu a few quick fixes for some of the issues that we're having with our Endless Runner game. Those issues being, first and foremost, when you go and swipe left or right, you are going to notice that it is also making you jump at the same time when you do not want that to happen. We're going to be fixing that up by simply disabling the tap input as part of our swiping system. It's really straightforward, it's really easy, it's just something that wasn't included in one of the previous videos. Moving on from there, you'll also notice that the sound for the coin is only being played while the magnet is active. So once the magnet stops being active, you are not going to hear any sounds when you pick up the coin. So what we're going to be doing is just adding in that sound blueprint node to the regular coins as well. Moving on from there, what also happens sometimes is when you first press restart, you spawn straight into an obstacle. So what we're going to be doing is showing you how to add an empty tile before you spawn in all the rest of the tiles with your obstacles on there. So that way when you spawn in there is no chance of you hitting anything straight away. Um, and it's all really straightforward but just follow along and hopefully by the end of this video you should have a clean working version of the Endless Runner ready for packaging the game in the next video. So. First things first, let's go ahead and fix up the jump tap input. Now with that, all of this is going to be within the third person character blueprint as that is what's controlling all of our inputs. Now we've already set up our swipe inputs for left, right, up and down and that's all sort of working at the top here. Now what we do have from the original third person character is this input touch event and with this when you touch the screen, even once, regardless of it being a swipe or a tap, it is going to make you jump. What I'm going to do to fix this is simply just remove that input action. Hit compile, and then if we go ahead and press play now and jump into our game, we can swipe right, we can swipe left, we can do all of the things that we want it to do. If I swipe up, it's still going to jump, and now our movement is working exactly how we wanted it to be. So that's the first of the fixes done. Moving on from there, if we go into runner files and blueprints, let's show you how you can get the sound being played on the coin pickup. So double click your coin pickup to open this up, bring it onto your screen if you haven't got it on there already, and then within the main event graph, we have got two little uh, sequences of code. One of these sequences of code here has the spawn sound 2D in there. Press Ctrl C to copy that, as this is for when the magnet is active. What we're going to be doing at the bottom here, when you collide with the static mesh, just before the destroy actor node, we are going to tell it to play this sound. So all I've done is just pasted in that play sound node with our pickup sound effect in there. Hit compile, hit play, and then if we restart now, and if we go and pick up some coins, what you should hear straight away is that we are getting the coin sound effect and you can see that's all working there. So that's just another one of the quick fixes if you didn't have that already. So moving on, the last fix that we have is going to be spawning into obstacles as soon as you start the game. That's another easy little fix and the way we're going to be doing this is within our master tile, or sorry, with our master tile, we're going to be duplicating this. And what we're going to give this a name is first tile. And with this first tile, we're just going to open it up, keeping most of the same functionality we had before, but just removing the code to spawn the obstacles. So essentially, essentially, we can spawn in this first tile and then spawn in the ones with the obstacles afterwards. So the bit of code that I want to remove from here is event begin play, you just want to delete that spawn obstacles function. And with this, it is then just going to be a blank tile. To make this active, we've got to go into the place where these tiles are actually being spawned. Now, that could be in any one of a few different places. Now, it could be within your level blueprint, it could be within your game mode. It's entirely down to where you put it. 
For me, I'm pretty sure this was within the third person game mode. And if you open it up, you can see what's going on here. So from the main event graph, we are just doing a loop telling it to spawn a bunch of tiles. And with these tiles, you can see it's doing its bit here. What we're going to be doing is taking our spawn tile function and duplicating this. And this is going to be spawn first tile instead. And then within this spawn first tile, for the class within this function, if it's not open already, just double click it on the left hand side here. Just set it from master tile over to first tile and keep the rest of the code exactly the way that it is, as that is what you want. And then you're going to notice this cast to master tile here is broken. So what I'm going to do is delete this as instead we are meant to be casting to the first tile and hook up your return node to your object wildcard and then as first first tile get spawn point you should be able to get it right at the bottom here delete this reference and hook it up into get world location and hook this up in there just like that hit compile and what you should have is no errors what we need to do then is within our third person game mode before it does this loop we are just going to tell it to spawn the first tile and we're just going to tell this to do it once so spawn the first tile and then do the loop with the rest of the code that we've created already hit compile hit play and you can see now we have some empty space before we do go in and play our game and no matter how many times we restart we are not going to have any chance of going into an obstacle simply because we have got a completely empty tile before they start their game so you can see here no matter what we've got a fair little bit of distance and I can just keep on pressing restart and it's not going to cause any issues. So that is pretty much everything fixed up for our endless runner. If you have any other issues, I definitely advise just going through your code, but these are the main ones that have been pointed out to me. Uh, but for now, that is pretty much everything for this video. In the next video, we're going to be taking a look at showing you how you can package this for your Android device, Windows device, whatever it is, and a few sort of quick tips on making sure that it works on Android as well. Anyway guys, that is pretty much everything for today's video. Once again guys, thanks for watching, stay awesome, keep creating, your boy Virtus, signing out. This video was made possible by my supporters on Patreon. If you want more videos like this, check out my Patreon page using the link in the description. To stay up to date on new releases, make sure you follow us on social media.